Is it bad to have a national identity? Most countries have a national identity. It doesn't have to be about race or ethnicity. It's about where you were born or where you chose to move to, what country you identify with, and the standards, roles, rules, and customs of that country. One can be against U.S. imperialism without hating the people and the cultures of the U.S. I mean, if you're going to hate on anyone, then hate on the people who are actually promoting U.S. imperialism. I bet you'll find there are fewer people who support it than you think. Starting, I don't know, around a decade ago, here in the United States, it started to be viewed as bigoted or redneck to have a sense of national pride or a sense of a national identity. Perhaps that can be owed to the MAGA mentality. But over the past few years, there are countless people who have come out to say that they view the United States flag as a hate symbol. That it's not that much different from a swastika flag. And I can't fully wrap my mind around that one. You would have to believe a lot of propaganda if you actually thought that. I imagine that most of this mindset comes out of anti-Trump propaganda. I don't know. If you really think Trump is the next Hitler, and you see American flags and national pride as being tethered to him, and not just tethered to American pride, then I guess it's understandable why that would be the resulting mindset. One of the problems that comes into play is the notion that we need to dismantle anything that originated in white supremacy or patriarchy, regardless if they no longer promote those things anymore. The notion lately is that if something was originally created by white Christians, it must be oppressive and therefore needs to be dismantled. Look, I think we should dismantle things that are genuinely oppressive. If white supremacy and patriarchy had any sort of reasonable power right now, you know, I would be, I would be talking very differently about it. But they're, they're, they're like patriarchy light, white supremacy light. You know, people don't really believe in those things anymore. But there's leftovers that, of things that maybe those kind of mindsets originally started. We should be trying to stop genuinely hateful and oppressive mindsets from spreading. But it could be argued that all systems, all standards, roles, rules, customs, and values, are oppressive in some way. So where do we draw the line? Can we at least agree that both communism and fascism are oppressive? Extremely oppressive? Can we at least agree there? To me, if there's a political rally of some sort, and a number of people show up with swastika flags, and they're not immediately kicked out of the rally, that it basically makes it a pro-fascist rally. Just as the same should be true regarding any sort of rally where people with communist flags show up. Yeah, it becomes a communist rally. A pro-communist rally. Both sides need to do better at kicking these kind of people out. I just still think it's funny when people say, Antifa just means anti-fascist. It's just an idea. When it's just so, 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 so common to see people black block Antifa wearing the hammer and sickle in the form of a button, a flag, uh, an emblem on a shield they're wearing, on a t-shirt. Just somewhere they've got to support the, the hammer and sickle, as if that means freedom or something. And Antifa has no problem with people identifying in virtually any other way. You can make anything you want your identity except for a national identity. Is having a national identity fascism, as Antifa and some other people would like you to believe? Or is it what it used to mean? Where you can love the country you live in, and it means just that, you love the country you live in. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.